Alrighty, so this is going to be a relatively quick preview of the Sunday game because I'm doing this right as it is halftime between the Chicago Fire versus Sporting KC and about 15 minutes before the kickoff of the 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific game between Charlotte FC and the New England Revolution. But in terms of the free games that we're going to have tomorrow, we only have one that is going to be on national television, which is this game between Austin FC versus the Seattle Sounders. In fact, this whole week, we only have one game that is going to be on national television, which, yeah, that seems like it's like it's it's very few. And especially from what we heard about the whole, whole TV deal, and it seems like the new TV deal is not looking good for MLS. You know, it seems like maybe this is going to start to become a bit of a norm but we'll definitely talk a little bit more about that as the the story continued to develop and especially talk about it in the news of the week episode but we start off by talking about the first game of the sunday action which is the new york red bulls taking on the columbus crew the red bulls have a 2-0-1 record while columbus had a 2-1-0 record this game will start at 2 p.m eastern 11 a.m pacific but the actual kickoff is 2:08 p.m local time all time meeting between both of these teams you know both of these teams have met against each other a lot because they are the two original team that came into the league when the league was found in 1996 but columbus does have a slight advantage with a 37 12 and 34 record over the new york red bulls but the last five head to head it was the red bulls winning 2-1 against columbus before uh columbus was able to win 2-1 against the red bulls then the red bulls won one nothing against the columbus crew but the crew did win 3-2 against the red bulls and this was back in the the playoffs in 2020 that ends up to be an mls cup run that the columbus crew basically embark on uh then the crew of course winning two nothing against the new york red bulls so yeah this should be a very interesting game and also a game between two teams that have got off to a decent start to the season and let's see who can potentially continue continue that heading into this game but now moving on we got austin fc taking on the seattle sounders austin you know they also have got off to a good start to the season even though they did lose last week uh to the portland timbers by a score of one nothing but they still have a 2-0-1 record against a seattle team that has a 1-0-2 record and kind of a record that you see mls team involving in ccl kind of had in the beginning of the season where they tend to struggle in in the beginning part but last week they kind of got an unexpected win against the la galaxy See at home and it was their first win of the season uh this game will start at 4 30 p.m eastern 1 30 p.m pacific but because of the fact that this game is going to be on the fox network and on fs1 this game will be kicked off about 25 minutes after the advertised time at 3 55 p.m local time all time meeting between both of these teams this is only the third meeting between both of these teams because you know Olsen it, it, it was an expansion team la last season and both of these teams met twice with uh the sounders winning one and also draw drawing one between both of these teams the first meeting was that draw where where this was a a game that you know austin kind of did the impossible of getting a no no draw against the seattle sounders like up to that point when austin was still kind of like like an expansion team and still trying to get get through the norm uh nobody thought that they can pull off a nil nil draw against the seattle sounders but they did exactly that though that being said in the very next game that was a game that austin should have won i mean that was a game where they were basically playing against tacoma defiance and and th that the sounders were pu putting so many like like teenager in that game and they still lo lost that one and heading into this game it feels like austin is once again gonna be playing against tacoma defiance because you know the sounders after spending so much energy down in mexico and getting getting the resort uh down there against leon i'm expecting maybe they'll start start a relatively weak team in in this one though that being said you know if the the likes of ladero and Rui diaz does come back into this game both of those guys did not play in that that club leon match on wednesday you know i think may, maybe this is not going to be as e easy task for for austin than it is though i will say that this is also another good 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 test for this austin team and especially you know i feel like the start of the season for the, the verde has actually been been relatively well and it's not just just looking at the record but also just the way that they they play they have really played very well in their first free game and if they can get a resort against the sounders albeit it's a it might be a relatively weaker sounders team this team can can actually maybe get into that com conversation of, of potentially making the the play offs heading into this season but yeah let's see if they can of course of course do that 
in this one against a very good Sounders team. But moving on into the last game of the Sunday action and the last game of week number four is LAFC versus the Vancouver Whitecaps. So this is the second week in a row where we finish the week with LAFC playing a home game. Though this week is not going to be on national television. It's just going to be on regular television in this one against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Uh, LAFC, of course, coming into this game with a 2-1-0 record, while the Whitecaps, it's been a rough start for Vanny Sartini's man. I mean, all 1-2 and two to start the season. 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific is the start of this time. The actual kickoff is 7.08 p.m. local time. Now, what's interesting in terms of the all-time meeting, as this is the 10th meeting between both of these teams, is actually dead even at free apiece. I mean, both teams has free wins, both teams had free draws, so this is kind of almost like a rubber match in terms of who will have just a small superiority in terms of the all-time head-to-head meeting. And when you look at the last five head-to-head meeting, it kind of just shows you why this has been relatively even. I mean, uh, it was a 1-1 draw between both of these teams before the Whitecaps did win 2-1 against LAFC. Then it was a 2-2 draw between both of these teams before the Whitecaps win 2-1 against LAFC. And then, of course, in the one rare, the match between both of the, these teams that kind of was a lopsided. Uh, this was one of them when, when LAFC won 6 nothing against the Vancouver Whitecaps. And theoretically, the Whitecaps have, actually has done relatively well against LAFC in recent memory. Though, I, I'd say that, and when you look at their record at Bank of California Stadium, I don't think they actually got a, a win against LAFC on the road. Like, all three of them came at BC Place, and because this game is at Bank of California Stadium, it's not going to be be easy so yeah we'll see see where whether they can can may, maybe maybe get something out of this or will lafc who has started to look look like like lafc see that we know know from from the past at least in these first couple of weeks can they of course get all three po- points in this one against the vancouver whitecaps but there you have it that is pretty much it for the short preview of looking at the free games that's going to be happening on sunday Day, also known as tomorrow but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys see a like smash the subscribe button let me know in the comments below what do you think of all three of these games that's going to be happening tomorrow and make sure you leave your prediction for all four of the, these game or not all four all three of these games to, in, in terms of the sunday action but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys see a like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time